guys! Welcome back to my channel. So recently my boyfriend got me the new 35i Morphe palette and it is so pretty so of course I had to dive in there for you guys today. So if you want to know how I created this look, then keep on watching. Alright, so here is the palette in all her glory. I asked my friend for some shade suggestions and he picked a bunch of shimmer ones so I'm going to try to incorporate as many as possible in this look. So let's just get right into it. So he picked the shades Rosy Haze, Frostbite, Hollow Therma, and Charmed. And Frostbite is that pressed glitter shade, so I am super excited to use that. So first I'm just going to prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and an M173 brush. I think I might want to blow this out, so I'm going to put primer pretty far out away from my eye. Even though I'm going to cover this up with foundation, I'm going to prime underneath my eye as well. Alright, so I have an idea and I'm gonna get kind of funky with it. So I'm going to use a bunch of the like cool toned browns and grays. I'm really excited to use the grays, so I'm just going to do that right now. So first on a Morphe M506 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade below zero and start packing that into my crease. Now I'm going to take the shade Arctic Abyss on that same brush and deepen up the crease. I'm going to pick up some more below zero and blend that into the edges of Arctic Abyss. I'm going to take white out on that same brush and just put that underneath my brow bone and shape our angle a little better. Going back in with Arctic Abyss and deepening this up. Now I'm going to take a little bit of Charmed and put that on the outer corner of my eye. I'm going to take a little bit of my Color Pop No Filter Foundation on my Morphe M421 brush and cut my lid to create a half cut crease. Now I'm going to take a small flat brush and deepen up the crease with Arctic Abyss. Now I'm going to take Hollow Thermo on my pinky and put that on my lid right next to Charmed. All right, now on that same finger, I'm going to pick up Rosy Haze and put that on the inner third of my eye and blend that in with Hollow Therma as well. Now I'm going to deepen up the outer corner with Charmed again. And then back on that M506 brush, I'm going to take Arctic Abyss and deepen up the crease one last time. So I've used up all the shades except for the pressed glitter, so I'm going to put that in my inner corner and maybe a little bit on my brow bone as well. So I'm just going to take some of the NYX glitter primer and put that on my inner corner to prepare for the pressed glitter. Alright, I already had some on my finger because I swatched it earlier. So now I'm actually going to go in with uh, Frostbite. Okay, I'm gonna drag it on the lid a little bit. Now I'm going to wipe off my finger and take Rosy Haze and see if I can put any of that pink pigment over this glitter just to blend together a little bit more. I think I blend it a little bit. Alright, these are the eyes so far, so now let's start working on the face. First, I'm going to prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to blend in some of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation with my Morphe M439 brush. Now I'm going to lightly conceal using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm going to blend it out using my Morphe M173 brush. Now I'm going to set where we conceal using my Morphe E48 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with my Morphe M527 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Pressed Powder. Now I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. So for blush I'm actually going to go in with Sky High from that Morphe palette on a Morphe M405 brush. For the lower lash line, I think I'm going to go in with the shade Chill Thrill. I'm just going to take it on a small flat brush. 
And now I'm going to see if I can deep it up with into the blue. I'm gonna grab a Morphe M506 brush and dip back into Chill Thrill and blend that out. Now for highlight on a wet M501 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Imagine. It's very light and subtle, but still really pretty. I'm going to take Fierce Flurry and layer that on top of Imagine. First for lips, I'm going to line them using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Daring Night. Now I'm going to fill them in using the NYX Lingerie and Liquid Lip in the shade Silk Indulgent. Here's the finished look guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye!